and then pretty soon this the, I think this hoop I think all the arches are done so this will get covered with um, with uh, plastic and these tomatoes will last through November uh, the model that we use is that neighbors will share a portion of their yard with hug together all of those shared sites uh, network into what we call the urban farm network and then in season typically June through September we harvest every Saturday morning and we set up a farm stand right um, out in front of um, the farm and we share all of that produce back out into the community we share it and we don't sell it however we don't give away free food we're really clear that um, this isn't a charity we expect that there is an exchange we ask them to think about sharing their time sharing their talent sharing their treasure and in that that way they uh, you know they pay for their produce I felt really lost and confused and I felt like I didn't have a voice or I wasn't accepted. Um, and then I found Empower Montana and they helped me find that voice and just get out there and stand for what I believe in and not be ashamed. And so ever since then, my leadership has just like slowly evolved to where I can go and advocate for myself. We're able to sit across from a person and we're able to actually see the difference that our work is making in their lives. Being engaged and using your voice and taking a stand for your community is changing lives. And when they get that, when they feel that, and you, know, you can see it, you see it in their eyes, you see that their light, their face light up. And it's, you know that you're changing not just their lives, you're changing the lives of everybody around them. Where we usually start um, teaching the cycle is through misinformation. So oftentimes we get a lot of information from the media, from our peers, our families, our institutions. Because sometimes I can get just kind of paralyzed by all of the issues going on in our country and in our world. But if I come to work and focus on working with the youth here in town or I'm leading a workshop on the Flathead Reservation. I feel like I'm actually impacting the people in these communities that can then make the changes on their own in their own communities and it's not just all on me. SJF empowers people rather than rather than the the standard procedure, which tends to be um, the the salvation story, you know, how can we save people? And SJF doesn't do that. SJF turns to the people who are in crisis and says, what do you need? And how can we help you become what, whatever it is you need to become to achieve that? Our job is to basically facilitate, recruit and facilitate for the giving project. So. Uh, we're not necessarily program officers, we're really more like organizers. That's another thing that I really respect about Social Justice Fund is that it is movement building work um, and that the, the donor model is, is movement building and not just like uh, giving money. These were ordinary folks. They were not necessarily really wealthy folks. They were able then to decide on what were their collective priorities and how they wanted to make an impact on community at large. It was phenomenal to receive that very first grant um, because I respect Social Justice Fund and I respect the model. I know that people that come through the giving projects have received anti-racism training, have explored class. We don't have to do any sort of code switching. We don't have to um, tweak the language to, to um, fit the grant. We can use words like white supremacy, white nationalism, racism, uh, white privilege, white fragility, these different things that in some grants, like you just may not want to write that, but with Social Justice Fund, we just straight up real talk. We wouldn't be, uh, we wouldn't be here without Social Justice Fund. I mean, Social Justice Fund's funding has like held it down when we, were struggling to have any money for anything and I've learned how to navigate funding 
the funding world um, with a funder that's like really safe to just be what you are.